Hello there and welcome back. In this video, we are going to continue our nice, nice GUI journey. And basically what we would like to do is to use Mermaid. So Mermaid, as I mentioned in the first video, is basically a markdown language or markup language. And it allows you to define different types of diagrams. And yeah, this is how uh, or what we are going to see. So from nice GUI, we import the UI and we say that UI mermaid and we craft a multi-line string. So here we create a graph and this will have an A pointing to B and an A pointing to C and we use the UI dot run. So let's go and execute our example. And if everything goes well in our browser, we should see this fancy diagram. The next thing is going to be a bit more fancy. So let's create uh, another UI mermaid. And this one is going to contain basically a class diagram. If I save it and run it once again, you can see that our web page has updated. So this is what that class diagram defined. And uh, I will link the documentation for Mermaid to this video, but it's a pretty decent and, and capable uh, language and you can create nice diagrams with it. But let's continue our journey with nice GUI. So we have seen how we can uh, use Markdown language and we will see how we can use HTML. So basically from nice GUI, we import the UI and UI creates an HTML and here we can use the HTML language. So basically if I add in the next example, let's close out some files. So here, if I go HTML, mm, why is it not there? Let's pick up an HTML template. Let's see and try it ourselves. This is going to be the code. So ui.html, we have the multi-line string. And here I have pasted from uh, v3schools some demo. And if everything goes well, I should be able to use the ui.run. And if I go and execute my HTML demo, we should be able to visit the site. And there we go. So this is the web page. So it is uh, pretty capable. And uh, let's say we have uh, nice image that that we want to represent. So let me go ahead and pick up a picture. Let's call it this one. And I'm on my desktop. Nice and paste it. So here I could create my image.py and from nice GUI, I import the UI and on the UI, I add the dev ops dash 2 dash jpeg 
and then use the UI that run. If everything goes well, I should be able to see the image in my browser. And I don't have it. Hmm. Let's search for a cat image. Yepeg. All right. And I would like to copy the link address. Let's verify if it points to an image. Copy image address. Yeah. And let's go back and swap it out. Let's save it. And if I go back here, you will see that the image was successfully loaded. So this is how we can uh, add an image. And if we want, we can also uh, add a label for that image. So here we will use the with statement and say that UI.label cat is cute and we say that the classes are absolute button text subtitle to text center uh, this is basically meta information for the label as to where it should be located and here you can see that here is the label all right, and what should we do? We can have basically also a video playback. So here I go and say video.py and from nice GUI import the UI and the video is going to be UI.video and we have a test video URL and I will link it in the description and after the video on ended so once the video ended we can call a lambda function and ui notify video is over let's save it and go for the video <coughs> And we should not forget the UI that run. Let's start it. Great. And if we run the video and wait for the 10 seconds to complete, we should have our notification. Video is over. Okay. <laughs> we also have the option to create tables. Uh, let's call this tables. That PY. And from nice GUI, we import the UI and we will have columns and this is going to be a list of dictionaries and here i would like to define a name key with the name value and the label is going to be label is going to be name and the field is going to be name and the required is going to be true 
and the uh, align is going to be left. Now, what we would like to do is to have another column and I'm going to call this name with the age and the label age and the field age and the sort table is going to be true. So we want to make sure that we can sort this column and we can add some rows <coughs> And this row is going to contain basically a list of dictionaries. And we say that name is Daniel and the age is 32 and name is Florian and the age is 31 and the name is Naomi and the age is 23 24 okay and then in the end the ui that table is going to have the columns set to columns and the rows set to rows and the row key is going to be name and the UI that run should take care of running. Let's make sure that this is called the appropriate way. And now we can use the tables.py. All right. So now we have the appropriate table and we have the option to sort it. And for this video, that was all. See you in the next one.